we just knocked two plays out of the park. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a stock and a crypto that I'm looking at, but let's first do a recap. Yesterday, we jumped into a play, a spy play is called, and we made $320 on that. And then we got into another one and held it overnight and made 300, no, correction, $258 on that. But it would have doubled if we would have held on a little bit longer. But guess what, family? Like I always say, nobody ever lost a dollar when they take profits. And if you want to get help because you're not so confident in your trades, like even if you're feeling under a seven out of 10 in terms of your comfortability doing trades, family, I encourage you to hit the like and hit the subscribe so I can teach you two things. The first thing is competence. I wanna teach you a system that can help you to trade. And the next thing is confidence, but you need the competence first. And then once you are executing, you will gain that confidence. But if you wanna see the step-by-step -step walk you through the trades and then teach you how to do the trades, join KGU. But you gotta be willing to invest $10 into yourself. Do you feel like you're worth it? I feel like you're worth it. I see you over there. Cause again, like I said, there are many people who don't have time to walk you through a multi-day trade step-by-step updating you on where to raise your stop loss to where to interact where to actually cut out of a loss but i actually got the time and i value your time so i see you over there the link for kgu is going to be at the very top of the description can't wait to have you family now i want to just address the overall market first so you can have a gross macro idea of what's going on now the federal reserve they are the people who are basically controlling the interest rates on everything right? They control the interest rates when you go and get a car loan, a mortgage, a credit card, anything like that. They are the end all be all really when it comes to who's doing it in the background. And a lot of people don't even know that they exist or who they are. So they see in 2024, they're actually going to cut the rates. So AKA lower the rates and they're going to do it about three times. So now why is this even important at all? And I wanted to share something with you. I have a account one of my accounts on Discover Savings, right? So you go online and this account got $7,800 in it. Now at 4% of a return, this thing is getting me like 20 or $30 a month just from having it sitting over there. So, oh, it makes sense to have this money sitting there and it's at no risk, just gaining interest. But since they're gonna cut the interest rates, this makes me say, hmm, would this money make more sense being in the stock market? And when I look at the stock market, I can see, yeah, I might gain 20 or $30 a month on Discover with no risk. But if I put this same amount of money at $7,800, if I put that into the stock market, what is the stock market up? 5% this month, that would have gave me $390 instead of the $30. Oh, instead of the $20. Oh, so now why am I bringing this to your attention? When they lower the interest rates, it makes those savings accounts or even another name for different accounts where cash is at is money market accounts. It makes them less attractive and it makes the stock market and the crypto market more attractive. And to give you some perspective, they say that $6.1 trillion is sitting in money market funds due to the sharp rise in interest rates on those types of accounts, the money market accounts, the savings accounts, the high yield accounts, and it's low risk. Uh oh, so that's $6.1 trillion. Some of that, when interest rates come down, can be allocated back into the crypto market, back into the stock market and pump it up. Family, that's a lot of money. And to put that into perspective, $6.1 trillion sitting on money market accounts, check this out. All of the Bitcoin in the world added up together. If you had every single one of them and it was just yours, you would have $1.3 trillion. So multiply that by like four or five, and that's how much money is sitting in cash on the sidelines in these money market accounts because they are getting the high returns because of the risk-free investments like saving accounts or these money market accounts. And then they're going to put some of that over right into the crypto market, right into the stock market. And it's going to help us who are already getting in low to, like my dog Chris saying, say, back up the Brinks truck and boom, load up. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at a stock that I had in mind. And I talked about it yesterday and I told you that it was in a buy zone. This one is SoFi, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. Let me know in the chat if you own any SoFi. So it's currently $7.35. It does have the potential to keep pumping up, but I'm gonna give you the trident on it, where I will wait, where I will buy, and where I'll put a stop loss. Now for this one, SoFi, I see us wait between 7.30 and 
in that area, there's a lot of sellers. It could obviously move back up to 1040, but there's so many sellers there that I want you to remain cautious. And I will buy it personally between 660, like it was at yesterday at like 680, and then 730. And I had mentioned this in a video yesterday, and many of you told me that you were able to get in at that level. And I wanted to get y'all the most major of all salutes. And then the stop loss would be at 650. But remember, we like to get it closer to the low end of the buy range. If you do decide to buy so far now, you just got to put your stop loss up a little higher and then you'll have less risk than if you just had no stop loss or no management or no system at all. So just be on point with that. Now, so far, like I said, at 11 a.m. yesterday, it was 688 and I had posted that video and it actually came back down to about 690 again and you could have loaded up. But you got to make sure that you're just paying attention, especially the videos like this. I know it's so much nonsense on the internet i know it's a lot of cat videos and and dance videos and tiktoks and all of this allocate some of your time to that so you could you know just kind of decompress and enjoy yourself but also allocate some of your time to educating yourself like videos like this that are going to help you to really build your wealth up because this is so important to do you know what i'm saying it's enough money out here for all of us and to be honest keenan grace larry jones stock mo stocks with josh chris saying uh, Graham, Stephan, whoever, me, Kevin, listen, we can't have all of the money. You got to have some of the money too. Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, all of them, right? Getting all of the money. You are supposed to be getting some of this money too, but you got to put in the time that you see other people putting in and you may even have to put in more time, but let's be clear. We want to hustle ourselves to death. Make sure that you're getting some rest. Now, I bought some bunk as well. I picked up bunk at four zeros and 24. Remember, I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell, but I can tell you what I'm doing and show you that I'm actually making money on it, giving you the receipts. Like I ain't never seen nobody give you the receipts. I'm talking about the buys, exactly the buy that I got in and the whole nine yards, exactly the sell, exactly the profit. I got my stop loss in the trident zone as well because I bought this at the high end of the buy range. I prefer to buy a little lower, but it is it is something that I did. I took it at the high end of the buy range. But again, I just keep it real with you, keep it raw with you. The trident on this is the weight is between 26 and 29. So four zeros, 26, four zeros, 29. The buy is between four zeros and 20. That's the low end. And then four zeros and 25. So I'm closer when I bought at 24 to the higher end of the buy range. It's still a buy range, but I would have preferred to get it at 20 but that's just the way that it's going this time. And my stop loss is at 19, four zeros and 19. So I'm gonna get kicked out if it goes down there. But if it runs up, I'm gonna change that stop loss and put it higher than 24, like put it on 26, 27. So then if it runs up, I just let it run. But if it stops out, it'll stop me out in profit. And that's what we call exiting gracefully. So now that you know that, I wanted to just leave you with some wise words that I saw that I feel like it makes sense because a lot of y'all is telling me that some people in your family don't believe that you know what you're doing when you get into the market, when you get into crypto, when you get into stocks, when you get into bonds, when you get into options, they don't believe in you. They think you're gambling. They think everything like that. There are people who don't believe that you're supposed to get that new job. There are people who don't believe that you not going to get in shape. They don't believe nothing that you're doing and they hating on you. You know what I'm saying? And this was the wise words that I saw that I wanted to impart on you. When somebody doesn't like you, Check your bank account to see if it made a difference. I promise you it didn't. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Join KGU and join Moomoo. The links are going to be in the top of the description so we can level up your trading and level up that confidence. I'll see y'all in the next one and take care.